This video will show how you can use your Miltronics feed and speed calculator while creating a conversational program. So we're going to go into our conversational program and on your tool change page you can come down to the spindle speed field and either type in the RPM if you know what you want to run that tool at but if you're not sure and you want to refer to your manufacturer's guidelines while you're on the spindle speed field hit F4 speed calculator and this screen will come up, your speed and feed calculator. So enter your cutter diameter. For this example, we'll say we're going to use a half inch end mill. And now the width of cut. We will enter 125 thousandths with the cut. And your cutting speed, so depending on your tool and the material you're cutting. For this example, we'll say we're going to use 650 for a surface feet. Number of blades, so if it's a four fluid end mill, and your chip thickness. We'll see our chip thickness is 7 thou. So now it calculates your spindle speed and your feed rate. If you hit OK, it carries your spindle speed and it fills out the field for you. Now all you have to do is select which direction you want your spindle to go and store that information. And now on our next event, when we're going to start milling a line, we're going to mill our line. And if you want to use the same feed and speed that we calculated, you can just hit feed calculator F4 again. And all your information is there. There's your feed rate of 160.55. Hit OK. And it fills out your feed rate for you. All you have to do is give it your position. Remember to hit F1 store. So that's just a quick example of how you can use your feed and speed calculator on the Miltronics control. Thank you.